So I am so excited. I just got home from work, <clears throat> slammed some dinner down my throat, and I just updated my tandem insulin pump to control IQ. And so I'm still just waiting for my sensor to drain. Um, but other than that, it's ready to go. I'm about to walk my amps. She's very ready, so we'll check in when we get back. So as you can see, my blood sugar is rising, and so it's hard to see on the screen, but it does have the increase basal activated. So I'm gonna go to activity, and then I am exercising, and we'll see how it goes. All right, walk's over. I walked over 30 minutes, and my pump is suspended it stopped my insulin i am going on the lower side but i did give insulin for dinner right before the walk and it doesn't know about that insulin on board because i updated my pump in between then hey everyone it's diabetic danica welcome back to my channel today I'm gonna be following up on my other video I made where I introduced Control IQ, the new automated insulin delivery from Tandem. And now I'm gonna talk more just about my experiences with it so far. Some of it might be in the previous video as well, but let's jump right into it. So if you don't know what the heck I'm talking about, definitely check out the first video so that you understand what Control IQ is. Okay. I have been waiting for Control IQ I feel like for my whole life, <laughs> I know that's not the case, but um, it's a dream come true. Like it's almost an artificial pancreas. Like you still have to enter your carbs. All right, you still have to enter your carbs. You obviously still have to wear a pump and wear a sensor. Um, but it's just crazy to me that it can automatically kind of figure out how much insulin you need in the background and give correction doses. And it's just, it's close to an artificial pancreas. And I love that. So of course, you know, I was crazy excited to upgrade my pump. Um, the first couple of nights, I did have a couple of problems. Um, not huge problems, but I kept going low overnight and I wasn't sure if it was because of Control IQ or if it was just because I was literally moving. So I just moved. Um, this is the first time these couple videos about Tandem Control IQ are the first time I'm filming in my new house. Um, new to me, at least. So I was like, packing and moving and carrying boxes and like going back and forth to my car and it was a lot of physical activity so I'm like okay maybe I'm low from that um, I'm going low overnight from exercising during the day after work but then I realized that I needed to tweak one setting in my pump um, so I looked at my pump and I realized that I had a correction factor later in the evening that I typically wasn't having to use I guess because I never noticed that it was causing me problems before but it was way different than my other correction factors and I was like oh okay must not be changing this as often as I'm changing the other ones clearly this one needs tweaking so I tweaked it and then I stopped having the lows overnight because um, control IQ does still use your programmed correction factors so just keep in mind that after after you start on a new algorithm or a new pump or a new program, you may have to adjust some settings. If you don't feel comfortable safely doing that, obviously do it with your medical team, your doctor, your diabetes educator, whoever it might be. I um, am a nurse diabetes educator. I feel comfortable adjusting my own pump settings. So I tweaked that and then I stopped having lows overnight. So now overnight has been my best time period. It's just beautiful, pretty flat line. Um, right in the hundreds-ish, like 100, 110, 90. Beautiful! Other than that, initially I did get a little annoyed with the extra alerts that I mentioned in the first video. It'll let you know, like, you know, we've been giving you not very much basil, but you're still going low, it lets you know. Um, hey, we've been giving you a lot of basil, you're still going high, it lets you know. Um, so those have been a little bit of an adjustment to get used to, but nothing I can't handle. But overall, I love how it's brought my numbers down overnight. I really, really feel like it's been curbing a lot of my highs because it just catches them sooner. Like if I saw a high, I would try to correct very often, but it's hard to, I have a life. I'm not just doing diabetes all day long. I'm at my job, I'm seeing patients, I'm socializing with friends, I'm working on the house in terms of like chores and you know, just doing other things. And so I love that in the background, it can be doing things for me. Um, so like the first day I wore it, I that morning saw that my blood sugar had risen without me even eating anything. It does that in the morning, like when I'm getting ready, um, my morning hormones are kicking in and maybe I'm starting to get a little bit stressed, just rushing to get ready and leave for work. 
Um, my blood sugar will sometimes rise a little bit, like 30 points or something. Um, I looked back in the history and I saw that it had given me an automatic correction. And it was really cool because the reason I pulled out my pump was to give a correction and I saw that it had already done so. So that was really, really incredible. I love that it's been curbing my highs, preventing them from going as high and really, really just helping out there. I'm sure it's doing that with lows as well, but I've noticed it less because um, I already had basal IQ and the high control is the new thing. I also did have a rough day recently. I guess that was yesterday. It feels like forever ago um, where I went low. Well, here's the weird thing. I technically wasn't low, but I felt low four times in one day and it was really exhausting. There were like very symptomatic lows, pounding heart rate, shaky, um, just really tired, like no energy, hard to think. And I think it was because my Dexcom was reading a little bit off. So I put on a new sensor and it was having trouble starting. Um, it was saying, I think it even said sensor error. It was giving me all these problems. It wanted me to calibrate, which is not the case usually. And so I think what happened is the Dexcom was having trouble. It was reading higher than what my actual blood sugar was. So like, for instance, I woke up in the morning, it said I was 120, but I felt kind of low, but I was like, okay, maybe I'm just hungry. Um, I'm not always great at feeling my lows, so I started to get ready for my day and then I felt really low and I was shaky and I did do a finger poke and it said I was 81, but who knows? Um, I felt full on low, so I corrected and that kind of happened throughout the day. Like I wouldn't be that low or I would just be almost low and I would really feel low. So I think because my Dexcom was reading higher than I actually was. It was giving me extra insulin to bring me down to that 110 target, but I was actually even lower than that. So hard to explain. I don't fully know if that's what happened, but that's what it felt like. So obviously you really need to make sure that your Dexcom sensors are working appropriately. They're in a good spot. It is, I would say not restarted. I don't know. Maybe it's still accurate when you restart it. I've never restarted a G6 but just making sure that it's pretty close to your finger stick and working okay. Um, so when mine has been off with this sensor that I've been wearing, I've been trying to calibrate it and get it back on track. So now I've been fine, I haven't been having that problem. Um, and it was a fresh sensor, it was day one, which can sometimes be less accurate. Um, so yeah, that was kind of a different experience, but otherwise, the majority of the time, my Dexcom G6 is so accurate. I love it so much that it can be so spot on without having to calibrate. Like it just, it blows my mind. So that would be my one or couple, I guess, kind of challenges so far. But with anything new, obviously it's gonna be a learning curve and figuring out what works and what doesn't work and yeah. But overall, I'm super, super happy with Control IQ. I can't wait to keep using it. I can't wait to see what my A1C is next time, just because my average blood sugar has come way down and my time and range has gone way up. So I really expect it to be a lot lower than last time, or at least lower, even if it's not a lot lower. It's definitely really, really working for me and it's bringing down my average blood sugar without me having a bunch of lows, which is so nice. So yeah, I'm happy. If you guys are using Control IQ, definitely let me know in the comments down below what you think. Even if you're not using it, just let me know your thoughts. I would love to hear. If you're using a Medtronic 670G auto mode pump, I would love to hear your thoughts on both. Um, and yeah, feel free to give this video a thumbs up if you want to and if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe. I make new videos about diabetes all the time and I will see you guys next time. Bye.